You are editing that out. What? You are editing that out. Oh yeah, that 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 just happened. Yeah, that's yes. going out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Check. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just make just score all your all your movies with the sound of somebody like dragging the microphone against his against against his dick and balls. And like when you think about it, if you get a woman, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Well, you just just imagine the Birdman, right? And the Birdman score, instead of having drumsticks, he just swung his body around and had drums in front of his crotch. <laughs> I'm imagining the rhythm that would create. It would be like... I know, let me, let, me, let me line up a whole bunch of mugs on my desk and see what happens. Like, that's how it would sound. But with drums. Well, I mean, if he's going up and down fast enough, he can probably go... Between two. Oh god, imagine how painful rolls would be. But in in the alternate universe where your dick is hammer space, you could probably fit a drumstick in there. But we're not. Also shock absorbers and probably a drum machine while you're at it, so what's the point? But you're it, that doesn't solve the <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> solve the the pain of a drum rolling with your penis. No. Um what if you had like What if you had party room three? Alright, sure. But like, what if you had a jackhammer inside of your dick, and like, oh. you, stuck, you stuck the end outward, but you affix some like, um, lever type thing to the end of the jackhammer. Making that sex move so much more literal. But it was like, and it was like, affixed to a, um, a lever or something, and there was a drumstick on the other end of the lever, and that was banging against the drums. The, uh, who, who, if this was ever a person, this person would never have a girlfriend because he would always think it was cool and this they would just- This person would probably <laughs> kill himself. <laughs> no, no, he'd think it was- he think it was pretty darn cool. And then he'd like do it, he'd like be like, check this shot, he'd be like, whistling out of there and the girl would, would like, she would just throw up on him and she would never talk to him again. He's a hit at and parties then... and he's also hit at parties. <laughs> I like to imagine that this is the character that you're portraying as a security guard. It came into party room three. That microphone exercise got me really worked up. One more thing to mop. <laughs> <laughs> but not really, because it all just stays in there. No one is here. It's been the time tidying up the place. Gotta hate when you don't get encounters, you know? I go to the rooms to get encounters. Yeah. When last um, step? Pa party room four. Party room four? All right. Um, can I? All right, I guess you want me to click it. That's fine. He visited party room four. He, Toy Chica, is in here. Of course not. Why would there ever be an encounter in the room that we're trying to go to? I took the rare opportunity to eat some leftover cake. So, why would that be a rare opportunity? Are you saying that Toy Chica, the one who watches her weight and eats and diets, actually eats all of the cake? Because that'd be an interesting plot twist. No, I think like they they just. She's a robot, though. Yeah, but she's a robot who loves pizza, but is careful to monitor her intake, and the other Chica is a robot who eats a bunch of pizza and doesn't monitor in her, her intake. And that's why she has such awful dental hygiene. Now, what would happen if you, like, had a robot that was just dedicated to eating cake? Hmm. Well, it's interesting you say that, because because what, what would we count as eating? Like, getting it into a mouth process, right, and chewing it? Or, like, actually digesting and breaking it down, and then Turning it into a poop, which comes out over the course of an hour and a half. Oh, well, okay, so... Like, all of that. Yeah, okay, that would be a little more difficult, because if it was just, like, the act of, like, chewing but on I, Basically, cake, what I want then... is a robot where you put all the raw ingredients that would go into a cake in the front, and at the other end comes poop. <laughs> in the form of a cake. No. <laughs> no, I don't mean in the form of a cake. I mean in the form of, like, the kind of poop that would make the fact that you used all those resources and all that energy and generated all those byproducts to make that poop 
and you just have poop at the end, which needs to be purified in some way anyway, in order to turn it into anything usable, that much more offensive. Um, or, or, or it poops out poop in the shape of a cake, so that you can then frost it and give it to someone you hate. What? You would just frost it with poop, though. Let's be honest. Well, no, you gotta frost it with icing, so they I don't, they don't, ice. they don't know that it's poop. I, I don't know what poop is anymore. You gotta, like, freshen it up a little bit so they can't smell it when they try to eat it. And you'd be like, this is a really dense chocolate cake. Uh... It's day four. Where should I steer? Um, we still haven't figured out about the crack ring. Huh? Oh, yeah. We yeah, still haven't have figured it. out. Should we... I don't know, maybe there'll be some documentation on it in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse, master bust. They started my night by taking another huge shit. Okay, is Freddy like not there? Is 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 the crack? Have, have we like debunked it because the amount of times that we poop and pee and how long it takes for us to do so, they just move. Yeah, it. that's happened every time. I think he just doesn't actually exist. Hmm. Now we are two. Uh. Show stage. I like microphones. I oh God. The show stage. There's no one here. I decided to sweep the area. <laughs> Did you? Myself. Did you though? <laughs> I think next day I'll visit. I think what I think once you pull that off, then you just can't undo it. Yeah, you can. Uh, Party room three. I think that's where the oh my god one is. I hid it to party yeah. room three. Toy bunny was nowhere to be found. Wrong. Guess I'll just shirk my duties. I spent a block of time hiding under a table. Man, what? What? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you, you, you take a, an hour and a half to pee, so you obviously hiding in the bathroom already. And then and now you're hiding <laughs> under a table. And you, 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 you slam the microphone into your crotch for fun. Like maybe and, nobody is. Maybe people are trying not to talk to this guy. And 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 you know there's only one person that's in this room, and you know they aren't there right now for whatever reason. Because where else would they be? Because they're not going right, to be right. in any other room. Uh, that's true. Anyways, and you're just hiding under a table, knowing that there's no one there. Yes, where I come from, we call this straight busting. Also hiding under a table. Five o'clock a.m. One last step. Fire room four, we still haven't talked to freaking. My last step was pretty room four. Oh no, the sentence. No toy chicken tonight. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I decided to do some stretches before clearing the tables. This guy's so weird. Well, yeah, have you heard his voice? But I mean, a over voice is one thing because I mean, it's kind of something you can't help. But like going into a room, right, and then just like doing some freaking yoga and then just like to prepare yourself to clear dishes. Yeah. You have you have to just reach Zen to do the dishes, man. <laughs> just imagine a, like a busboy who goes in, right, and he goes to clear someone's dishes and he just like, and then people just walking past this guy who's just like doing mountain pose <laughs> and then. Better yet, like, and then a busboy who's been working. He th think about that. Like that guy works there for fourteen years, and he's reached such a state of meditation that he has to be lifted and brought into work. He never moves. He just <laughs> he just sits next to the dishes and meditates, <laughs> and gets paid for it because he's so good at meditating. Like he doesn't even know that he actually lost his job after the first week. <laughs> well, he didn't. He gets paid for it still. They just didn't know what else to do. They, they just they just hired someone to, to take him home and bring him to, to work and then to do his job. That's that's it. Like they just couldn't fight it because, like they gave him court dates to uh, try to work <laughs> something out, but he was just meditating. Who was he meditating? He was just doing yoga endlessly. Endless yoga. It's day five, twelve o'clock a.m. Where should I start? Bathroom. Yeah, we're gonna find him eventually. He started well, of by course the not. Of course not. No crack ring. But he doesn't even actually go to the bathroom. He just does it where he's sitting. He's been sitting in this same spot every night, and there's been no mention of him cleaning it up either. Yeah, he just like he does. He even move to a different part of the room, or does he just keep doing the same chair? He's been. He has been. 
peeing in this spot for a total of three hours and pooping for a total of four and a half. But he also, like... Like, is nobody he, noticing he, this during the daytime shifts? He also pees for, like, a full hour and a half. No, I mentioned that. I know, but I'm saying, like, that's a lot of pee. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> where does it all go? <laughs> it's, just, it's just in all the other rooms you know, now. Hammer space. Where now to? Wouldn't it, oh, yeah. Hammer, but no, but the, but the poop isn't in hammer space, so his four and a half hours of continuous pooping, where does that all go? Is that just his chair now? It is the chair. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh my just, goodness. He just sits upon it, and as the days go on, it just keeps rising. Or maybe, like, the heat and the pressure from him sitting on it for so long is just, like, over time, turned diamonds. it into, like... Yeah, diamonds. <laughs> he sits on a diamond throne, because this is what happens when you never move. <laughs> don't don't tell people that. They'll start doing it. No, shut-ins are a real thing. They have they have a lot of diamonds. That's that's a just, just what do you do when what are you gonna do when I grow up? I'm gonna make diamonds. Oh, that's nice. And the kid just does what we said. Yeah, he just what he happens? Just sits in his room and poops all day. <laughs> Wait to eat. So he eats and he poops because he still has to eat. I think to, I made to more poop jokes during the recording of this than I have over the past three years. I think I haven't, but I mean, I'm coming close. And I made a lot of poop, I've made a lot of poop jokes in the past. That was one of the staples of my old relationship. Uh, poop. Not <laughs> too. Not no, poop, too. but poop jokes. Actually, no, poop is part of it too. Yeah, well, they're a subset of poop jokes. I suppose. Oh, where the fuck are we going? <laughs> Uh, party room two. Party room two! Oh god, I know, I... No, don't, please don't. He wanted to chill with Chica, so he went to party room two. Damn! Oh, thank he god. He had a dentist appointment. I <laughs> spent the time playing musical cheers with myself. That's funny, because you can see mo more of her teeth than you can see any of the other people's. I think she might have one, too. Anyways. She's got, like, two rows of jaws. I, yeah, no, I forgot, I totally forgot this boy, so I'm, I'm glad that she wasn't there. <laughs> I think next day I'll visit... Hmm... The main hall. What's in the main hall? The main hall! I enter the it, main hall This is the pretty. This is the bathroom. What? So the hey bathroom... Hey there, snapper, It's Hulk Hogan! <laughs> wait, wait. Just kidding. So, That's not Hulk so, Hogan's voice. So the bathroom is actually just a way to skip that part of the day, but only that part of the day? So what's the, what's the point, then? I don't understand. It's good to see you again! We talk about the old pizzeria and share many stories. We didn't find it. Did he tell you anything about the crack ring? I can't tell you. When that stop? Well, I'm, I'm the voice in your head, so... I already know. Fire room 4. Party room 4? Okay. We're gonna get up the other Chica. I visited party room 4 before leaving. Oh, okay, wait. it's actually I a person. I want to point out that he says I visited party room four before leaving an hour and a half before his shift ends. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guards. Once you work out again, I it's saw you doing yoga yesterday. That's right. I'm swole. Actually, yes. Of course we can talk while we're working out. Mm, oh, get over man. here. Big boy. Toy Chica and I spent the night bench pressing upside down tables. What? <laughs> I guess he's actually swole. No, but like, he goes in and stretches, stretches in this room and it's like a thing that actually happened in this room and just like, guys randomly working out. Yeah. I mean... I, I, I didn't read this enough tables part first. I thought he was like, just spend the time literally bench pressing the bench press in a toy in a kid pizzeria i was like wow this is a weird place like i can, I can imagine that like a few parents go um go to the pizzeria with like a group of 10 kids and we're like we'll take party room four because that's available and we're paying <laughs> here's money and they go in there <laughs> <laughs> it's just just a bunch of like like just a bunch of bodybuilders. Just a bunch of bodybuilders. And, and speedos, like, bench pressing and, like, yep. doing doing leg workouts. And, and the kids are all like, oh. Oh. Yeah. They're they're all like, 
And there's also this girl here going, Oh, children, they're too young, but I can wait. That wasn't the joke I was about to make. I know. That actually wasn't. I, I know. <laughs> what was the joke you were gonna make then? I don't remember. Of course not. Georgica. That's my name. Say it. Say my name. <laughs> I don't know what I was just going to say. Barked in your mouth a little bit. <laughs> that's probably what it sounded like. No, that's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs>